it's not very often with Targa that we get someone from the other side of the seat get into the driver's seat. It has happened on the odd occasion, but Jason Easton... Jason, we know you better from being with uh, Bevan Claridge and... This is a Ford, God forbid, a Holden uh, for a few years, so he's given the opportunity to scare you. Uh, but now you're uh, driving yourself in your own car. Tell us a little bit about it. Um, yeah, no, Bevan was, um, it was good to co-drive with Bevan, get a feel for the event. Um, after I sort of retired from motorbikes, it was something that I liked to do, and Bevan was around, he's my neighbour, so jumped in for a couple of years, had to lower myself to a Holden, but it was all right. So, <laughs> so I've had the Mustang for about three years now, and it got finished just in time with the South Island one. And we had a pretty trouble free run there and it was all good, so now we're back again. So, no, um, Timo Lloyd built, built the car, um, has a Mr. Beat, so yeah, it's a good car. Good really beautiful, beautiful fabrication. Engine wise, it is an existing NZV8 package, 302 cubic inches. It is, yeah, yeah. No, the motor we bought off um, Track Sport, um, it was an old, didn't even know how many miles the engine had done. And um, yeah, it's, it has a Mr. Beat, it's starting to smoke a little bit now. You know, the rings are supposed to only be 10, 10 hours, but they've done about 50. <laughs> Bit of a rebuild for the main one this year, I think. Your dad was saying you did the South Island, which was damn near a week-long event, and then he's done a couple of rounds of muscle cars at uh, Manfield, and now, you know, we're into here in Bambina. So, you know, you don't know the history of the engine, but it's holding up pretty good. Yeah, it is. It's got another two more days until we get a freshen up. So we actually um, upped the rev limit on it a bit for this weekend just so we can give it fresh at the death and give it a rebuild. So that'll be good fun. So what are you looking at? Maybe four 450 horse? Uh, about 400 they reckon, yeah, yeah about 400 or so, no it's just, yeah, a bit more would be nice, I think we'll probably give a little bit more for the main one, so, yeah, we're sort of starting to get used to the power now, we need more, you know, you know what, you know what it's like, we're always going to need more it. Speaking of more, uh, could you have got a smaller transporter? No, he couldn't, no, he couldn't have got a smaller one, maybe. you know what Dad's like, he's got to have the biggest and the best, eh? <laughs> Yeah, nothing like a little bit of overkill, but hey, great thing to base out of because, I mean, the weather hasn't exactly been the greatest today. No, not ideal for Target because it's always a pretty pokey place to go to at times and that, but um, Peter's um, sort of been pretty good. He said that we could bring it, so we did. Uh, good stuff. So from the co-driver's seat to driving from a Holden to a Ford with the biggest transporter here, Jason Easton.